Welcome back. So this episode we're gonna talk about long exposures. Um, we talk a little bit about long exposures when we review the dial over here, the speed dial, but um, we're gonna go into deep of how to do it uh, according to the manuals. Uh, so there's two ways to do this long exposure technique. The first one is the, the blurb or B exposure mode and this will be set up in here uh, on the dials and as we saw on the earlier episode there is a couple of numbers and there is a red B uh, let me show you right now there's a red B setting right there that will be a bulb mode and what means is as long as you're pressing this uh, your exposure would be would be set up and um, it, it will be exposing, exposing, exposing until you release this. Now, if you don't want to have shaking or vibrations, uh, you can put a trigger over here, and it has a, this has a little thread over here to put um, like a screw in trigger. And those are pretty uh, generic. There's no, no, nothing so special about it. I have this one over here that I use with my uh, custom setting, and it's just a, a trigger. Uh, and all that it does is just push a a little tube inside or a little pig inside like that so you can scroll this in there and it will send a little push in there there's someone there that are with like longer they, they work with air or they work with um, the spring one that I have right now either or would work all you need to do is just just put it in there and just turn it around a couple of times it doesn't go all the way back and it shouldn't and then that's it it's it's connected there and I just threaded as you can see probably it's not totally all the way in and once you're there you're able to trigger the photo using this so okay so we did that um, obviously I don't have film here again since I don't have the film in there we're gonna take this out in order for this thing to allow us to take pictures and we're gonna put it in the multiple exposure mode so we're just gonna trick the camera just to let us know uh, to let it know that we want to take some shots so all right so you put it in the B mode and then you press you can press over here obviously or you can press down here but just make sure that if you're doing a long, an exposure don't move it now this type of shooting it uses the battery to to keep the, the, the exposure open um, if, it, if you release the energy from here it will just open the lens again so it needs the energy to keep it like close um, at least that is uh, the way that it's, it's been working out on this uh, for the B mode of course now you press it and it will stay it will remain close and I'm gonna put it on F32 probably so you guys can see the the inner disc over here the leaves uh, and then okay so here we go so what happens here is, is as long as I have this pressed the aperture will be letting light go into the to the film and at the moment that I release this it closed it now it's not open it's completely closed it's just sealed closed but you cannot see the the circle anymore I'm gonna open it to f16 so you can you can actually see what I'm talking about so there we go I close it it has that hole in the middle and then when I release it it closes the hole in the middle so it stops the exposure now what happens is if you're planning to do an exposure and obviously before you take the photo you need to know how long you want it to have it open you cannot just like figure it out with your imagination you need to have your your balance your um, exposure time and obviously considering the ISO and the aperture that you're using you know how much long and of course the illumination that is on the on the scene or in the subject you know how long you need to keep it open so you can you can say I need exactly 32 seconds or exactly I need 22 seconds to keep it open with this brightness at this ISO sensitivity and this aperture speed and then I get an, a good exposure or the exposure that you want to get so if it's something between zero and um, and one minute then you can probably do it with this B mode you can just hold it there but the problem comes with um, when it's not in B mode uh, or when, I mean the problem is when, when it's not one minute because on the alarms uh, on the errors that we saw on the earlier episode area er, er, errors and sounds um, we saw that there is an there is an, a sound that the camera will beep you and it would automatically uh, shut this down okay so 
when you're shooting on B mode, I'm gonna try to keep it there. I'm probably put on F8, maybe so you guys can see the opening. And there you go. When you're shooting on B mode and you keep it open, you can keep it open as long as you press it, it's, it's gonna be there. So you may want it to just like, there's some uh, triggers like this that come with a little screw on the side so you can push it and just screw it and you can just leave it there. Like if you wanna do like a very long exposure, you can just leave it there hanging out, you know, get your cup of tea or whatever. Uh, wait until the exposure is, is done and then you, you can just like loosen this, uh, uh, like a little, little lock and then it would finish the exposure. Now, um, as you can see, I'm still pressing and it's still open, but as soon as we're cutting close to the one minute mark, exactly around 55 seconds, the camera would make a sound, a long beep, and the long beep would stay for five seconds, and then after that it would cut off the electricity because this is a security system for it to not uh, spend more electricity and we're getting close, there we go and then you're gonna see right there all this time I kept this pressed and it shut me off so um, yeah if you're using B it's, it's just under one minute just by hand and like I was saying there is another one that has like a little screw over here so you press it down you screw it and then it will remain like that until you un un unscrew it. So there's a couple of different ones. I use this one because because it comes with uh, with other uh, thing that I'm using over here. My 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 enough trigger. All right. So, but you say, hey, Ryosaki, I need a longer exposure time. Okay, that that can be done. <laughs> you know, um, if you want, you can just keep doing the just crank it up and and do the other other minute with your hand or you can use the time exposures so to time exposures uh, we're gonna talk about the lens alright you see the lens all the lenses well most of the lenses at least all that I have have this this over here uh, and it's kinda interesting little, little little guy there right there can you guys see it it's a uh, it's a, it's, it's a, they call it a T lever right and the lens T lever and usually you see a T Right there, and there is an there should be an N on this side. So you push this middle button there, and then you slide it off to the side, and it will reveal a T, and you cover the the N over here. So when you're covering the N, uh, the shutter will remain open um, when you depress the shutter release button, and at this time the setting on the shutter speed dial over here. Uh, it just completely ignores so you can set it up in anything you want uh, except for RBL and uh, it would be completely ignored and it would just let this this uh, the lens open so you press it and it will re keep it open and keep it open and keep it open but it's not going to expend any electricity which is a, a good thing uh, and now to close it to finish the exposure what you need to do is actually return this this lever to the T mode and expose the end and to do that you press this the middle um, there's a little middle button clip thingy magic over here you just press it and it automatically falls back so you press it and move it up you press it and, and take it out now that's that's the thing if you're doing a more than one minute long exposure if you're probably in you know one second that this takes and it doesn't vibrate anything I mean it's, it's pretty the camera is already pretty steady, so just pressing this button over here, I mean, uh, unless you, you go like that, it, it moves in and you get uh, like a lot of different lights and whatever. But if you do it really carefully, you can just like do this and the camera should not vibrate or nothing at all. Um, but that is the way to actually finish the exposure once you do it. Now, it's very important that when, you, when you're doing a long exposure, uh, w before it finishes the... The, the, before it closes the exposure, do not cock the lever to go to a next frame um, uh, until the release is, is completely done. So let's do a test over here. And um, uh, we already locked in. We're already in multiple exposure mode. That does have the the dark slide. So we're gonna go ahead and do a trigger shot. There we go, and we shot. And look at this. I'm not pressing anymore, and the lines is open. It's letting all the light pass through, and right now at this moment, because it's on the T, uh, on the timer mode, you see I I cover the N, and I left the T uh, open, 
because it's there it's gonna leave the camera the lens open and it's gonna remain open like that so I don't even need this I can just push it with the hand or you know if it's comfortable for you you can use it um, just to trigger it out otherwise the camera is gonna stay like that and it can stay like that for days and days and days I mean <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't have any timer because the, the camera is not using any uh, electricity right if you you can just leave it like that as long as you don't have it on RBL setting because uh, you may be saying like okay because there's another lens or whatever RBL the the red RB lenses uh, the ones that are not for this Mami R C sixty five a sixty seven uh, the RB lenses have the speed on the lens so you you figure out the speed on the lens so it's pretty much useless so when you you set it up with the RB lens over here the camera um, leaves all the, the the shooting speeds to towards the lens and you cannot manage that. that that will be another another episode completely different so right now I'm talking I think it's been probably more than one minute and look at that it's still it's still open there it's not doing any alarms or anything and the only way to shoot it down would be to come over here to press a little button and there you go it closed that finish the exposure obviously you can go back and wind your thing back again and you're ready for your next shot and uh, that will be it for time exposures long you know long exposures alright see you guys next video